What do you need us for? Because some damn fool accused you of being the best. You son of a bitch. So this week I got a couple of requests to create a template using you and a couple of uh, backend frameworks. Etop asks for a template using Rocket and Darko requested a template using Actix Web. Then I made a poll uh, asking the community uh, which uh, server technology uh, would they like to use for, for, for their next application, for their next Rust application. And most people selected Actix. Because of that, I created an Actix uh, template. If you go to GitHub, you can find this uh, free template that integrates Actix, U, and a type safe API, which, I mean, let's face it, uh, that's why we are all using uh, Rust. If you like Rust programming, references to movies from the 80s, or discussing cybersecurity, don't forget to like and subscribe. I upload every week. Let's go ahead and clone it and see how, it, how this works. So let me walk you through what I built. Uh, you'll see that there are three folders. Actix API corresponds to the server. Types corresponds to the data structures that are transferred between the UI and the server. And the UI is very self-descriptive. I would like to show you what I believe is the most important aspect about this template. When we fetch a response from the server, we parse it into a Rust struct. Okay, so here we have the server and the UI side by side. And we can see that the server sends a JSON. It sends a JSON res a hello response uh, in JSON format, while the UI receives a hello response that is struct also in JSON. So that's the magic of using this template. You can generate new types as needed, and you can just put them in the types crate. And after you add the, uh, the new data structure here, it will be available both on the server and the UI. Now I'm going to start the application using a convenience script that I included. So start dev. This script starts both the server and the UI. I am not using Docker at the moment. Please let me know in the comments if you would like me to add Docker. The reason why I did not add it initially is because I tried to do that in the past and I saw that a lot of people had questions about Docker and I didn't want to mix Rust and Docker so early in the process. Um, so we start Actix, we start the UI, and then we wait for the Actix process to die. Another cool aspect about this template is that you can modify both the UI and the server code, and it will just hot refresh, which is, I think, very uh, useful. Also, these variables are passed dy dynamically to the processes, which means that you can change the port then just save and restart the, the server. And the in this case, trunk will dynamically uh, pick up the uh, port 8081 as opposed to 8080, or bind to port 8081 as opposed to 8080. You can also change the server port. And if you do that, the UI will call the server using the new port. And I'll show you how that works. If this is the, um, the UI, U, this is the UI code, and we can see that we read the port as an environment variable. The UI is extremely simple. So this is all you get. Uh, here I'm just printing the server port just for the sake of it. And then we are going to do a uh, get request to the U server. And then basically what it does, it just sends, like it just sends this get request and then the server 
response with the like uh, JSON that contains a uh, world in in the name field, I think. Um, so pretty simple, just like you guys requested something just to get you started. I noticed that the URL has this stuff at the end. This is just noise. Don't worry about it. This is not used. Probably my browser cached uh, that stuff from a prior request. You can also just call the server directly. So the same request that I'm doing here, I'm going to do it on a separate window. So I get request at the end of the day. So I'm just going to say, say hello, Dario. And I expect the server to reply with a JSON with a property called name, which value is Dario. So pretty st straightforward. If you guys find this valuable, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see another template like, like this, but using Rocket or Hyper or something else. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. <laughs>